What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. If you hear noise, it's David. He's uh, he's shoveling off the porch because we got dumped with a ton of snow. Blondie, of course, is here watching him, but he's such a good boyfriend. Cleaning off the porch, love it. Anyways, today we are keeping kind of busy. We have someone coming to look at the apartment, like our apartment because we it needs to be rented out when we leave. So somebody's coming to look at that. So we've been cleaning this morning and all that jazz. A little update, oh, David's done. It's cold out. Anyway, so a little update on the house. If you guys didn't see the last video, we were looking at a house and all that kind of stuff. A little update, we lost the bid on, well, we didn't lose it, but, well, we did. Uh, we lost the bid on the house that we were interested in. It was a new build. We liked it a lot. Uh, so we've been looking at houses because we're kind of in a time crunch a little bit because we do have to move by at least July, if not sooner. So there might be a couple months where I'm actually living with my mom and we might have to move back into there while we're waiting for a house. But we've been looking at houses and we found another house that we really do like a lot. And it's actually just four houses down from where we live right now, which is pretty cool. So... Yeah, we'll see what happens, but just wanted to update you guys a little bit. We'll probably go for a second visit at the other place soon and look at the house again, but I think we we really like it. It's a bit high in our price range, but I think, I hope, I hope it works. That's all I gotta say, I really hope it works. Anyways, this morning we're shoveling things out. We've got dumped with so much snow. It was like such a weird week. We got like tons of snow, super warm, and now it's like super cold, and then it's gonna get super warm again. You know, that's just how springs work in Quebec. It gets like really hot, really cold kind of thing. So we have to clean off all the cars and everything. My car even got stuck this week. It was like stressful, uh, but we have a lot of shoveling and all that fun stuff to do. All right, so we just did some grocery shopping. So I figured I'd show you guys what we got. The people came and checked out the apartment. We don't know if they're renting or not, but hopefully they will. I don't know. Anyways, so I wanted to show you guys our like weekly grocery shop. I feel like I haven't done this in a while, so I want to show you guys what we got. So, of course, <laughs> this hasn't changed. We got our bread. It's, this is normal. We also have been getting English muffins because we have been having once in a while those like kind of like Egg McMuffin things. If you guys saw the last vlog, you guys know. Uh, but we have these like once in a while, so nothing too, too crazy. We got a whole head of kale here, a head of lettuce as well. I also got some blueberries here. I've been trying to at least have a fresh fruit with my breakfast every morning, just trying to incorporate more fruits in my diet. So I have these because every time I make like oatmeal or I make my own cereal or something like that, I add blueberries to it. We got some bananas, cucumber. David likes his Asian sesame salad dressing. We got some peppers in here and then we also got some beyond beef i've never actually tried the beyond beef i've had the beyond burgers but never the beyond beef so this will be fun to try they had like two dollars off or whatever so we figured why not try it got a thing of potatoes we got our good old oat milk some wraps what is this a melon honey melon or a honeydew melon honeycomb yeah honeydew honeycomb we got some garlic hummus some apples I also got some mini pitas because I've been really craving having some pitas with hummus. I just love that combination and it's just really good. So yeah, got that, some broccoli. And then we got like six packages of tofu. We were stocking up on some tofu. And we also got some spinach. I've been adding a lot of spinach to just a lot of mixes that we do kind of thing. So it's just nice to add in some cooked spinach. It's been kind of, you know, spicing up some meals, adding in a bit of iron in there. Nothing too crazy, so we got that. And that's pretty much what we got. What's up guys? So I just got to the gym. I'm actually filming this workout footage a couple days after uh, the vlog that I've vlogged. I actually started to film some gym footage on the day of the vlog, but then like tons of people came in the gym and I just, didn't have room to film and I don't like filming when there's a lot of people in the background just because they don't have consent kind of thing so I will share that footage but I'm at the gym now and I'm gonna show you guys my full workout kind of thing like that uh so I have some Nako here I picked this up when we were in the UK because we don't have it here so I'm probably gonna split this with Dave because I find I can't drink the whole thing to myself 
I'm not a super person who likes to drink super sweet drinks all the time. Like, I just find them a little overwhelming for my system. And so we're going to try the peach one today. And it has caffeine in it. I'm not, like, someone who's like, needs pre-workout. I did a video a while ago trying pre-workout, seeing if it was worth it. And I don't think it's super worth it. Sometimes when you're tired, yes, I do think it's worth it. But I don't rely on it. So this one has a bit of caffeine in it. And it's sugar-free, but... It We'll see. I've I've tried this tropical one. I'm going to probably give this one to Dave. He's probably going to have like two and a half. He usually drinks one for himself and then drinks my other half. So I'm going to have this. Ooh, ooh, the peach one is good. It's very peachy. That is for sure. So I'm going to have this and maybe David will have this. I don't know. I brought it for him. I don't know if he'll have it or just have this. But yeah, we're going to go get a workout in. We're going to try some deadlifts, which I'm excited about. I'll show you guys the footage I took the other day. It was front squats. I did front squats for the first time in over a month. I was so, so happy. So deadlifts, this is going to be... I did really late before, so this is going to be the first time I'm going a bit heavier since I got injured. So I was approved to do deadlifts and front squats. I'm still can't go very high or anything like that, but I can still practice them, which I'm happy about. So yes, I'm going to drink this and let's go work out. Well, you can see uh, we were packing. Um, I just wanted to come on here and talk you guys through my workout because I feel like I haven't been doing that and I want to kind of go into detail, share with you guys how my workouts have been going because with my injury, I've been having to adjust things and things like that. So I figured last week I didn't do as much detail, so today I think that's what we're gonna do. So I told you guys that I was gonna share some footage that I got the other day, and it was me doing front squats for the first time, which was really exciting uh, because I haven't been able to do it. The front rack position is actually very, very hard for me to do with my shoulder. That is like one of the main causes with my shoulder kind of getting jacked up with the labrum and everything like that. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, that position is a very vulnerable position for me. So going into that position in a nice controlled manner was kind of nice to finally do. I can't do any Olympic lifts yet, but front squats are coming. So I kept the weight very, very light. Obviously, I don't want to go too heavy. I'm still getting used to that position and everything like that. So I only ended up, I think, going to 125 pounds. I didn't get all my sets on here because, like I said before, I didn't film the whole thing because there was people coming in and I just didn't want them in the background. So I ended up doing five sets of 10, which was pretty easy, nothing too crazy, went from there, kind of thing like that. And so my other workout that I did the next day was a lot of new stuff for me too. Uh, I was able to row for the first time in over a month, which was exciting. As you guys can see, if you guys are watching the footage of me rowing, I'm not fully extending forward because when I extend forward, my shoulder tends to roll forward and that puts me in a vulnerable position. So I'm not reaching all the way forward. I am just kind of reaching forward and then pulling back, nothing too crazy. Also the drag on the rower is at a one. So it was really, really easy, but I just wanted to warm up my shoulder, see how it went. I wanted to test it out because my physio said it was okay. So I figured why not try it? Why not warm up kind of thing like that? So I did a little bit of rowing. I only did like three minutes, which was okay. The drag was easy just kind of warmed up my body a little bit. And then after that, I ended up doing some assault bike a bit harder just to get my body a little more warm than the rower. Nothing too crazy like that. Just want to get my heart right up kind of thing like that. So yeah. So after that, I decided to just warm up my shoulders. I incorporate a couple of my physio exercises at the beginning of my workout and at the end of my workout and so today I incorporated a couple of them at the beginning. I ended up just doing some reverse flies and some shoulder abductions. So I was just bending forward while doing the exercise and going back I had five pound plates in my hand. You can also use dumbbells. I think that these are great exercises to warm up your shoulders especially if you're going to have a shoulder intense workout. I just do these to strengthen my shoulders because I gotta strengthen the muscles around my shoulders so that I can balance out my lay room so hopefully I won't have to go for surgery for that. So when I do my flies, I really gotta make sure that my shoulder is set back. If you watch the footage, you will see me kind of set back my shoulder and make sure that it's kind of in place. That's very important for me because my shoulder 
sets forward in a normal position where that is not good it's that's an issue and so I really have to make sure that my shoulders are set back especially in the shoulder abduction so like bringing the weights up on the side I have this weird thing where I also have like a click in my shoulder like it'll keep clicking like cracking almost um, so I have to really make sure that my shoulders really back my elbows are at a bit of a different angle than normal and that I'm bringing the weights up carefully I just I have to be a bit careful so that is what I'm doing for some shoulder kind of rehab exercises they're just part of my physio exercises that I do so that's what I've been doing this is very new for me too I had only done it once before at like 65 pounds so going up in a bit of a heavier weight was actually pretty hard for me and I really need to make sure that my shoulders are back I ended up sending some of this footage to my physiotherapist to make sure that it looked okay and even she noticed which I didn't even notice but you guys might see if you look at the footage if you look at my shoulders my left one is a lot higher than my right one even though I rounded my shoulders back, I'm still so uneven that my shoulders are not at like the same height. One's higher than the other. So if you look at it, I'm a little off, which is a bit frustrating. I thought I was doing okay, but unfortunately a lot of CrossFit gyms don't have mirrors, so I don't really notice those things until I look back at this footage. So this was my workout. I ended up just Increasing the weight a little bit very light kept it very light. I think I only went up to like 125 as well Kept it light. I ended up doing like five sets of ten nothing too crazy I didn't want to go too crazy or too heavy don't want anything crazy happening You know trying to keep the calm kind of workout life I guess right now uh, So I ended up just doing that working on my deadlifts making sure my shoulders were back I was in a good position and just really keeping good control and higher volume obviously so once I get a bit more comfortable in my deadlifts I'll definitely up the volume up the weights up the reps kind of thing like that and go from there but this was just kind of the start for me and to see and also I need to now correct my shoulders because I'm uneven still a little bit even though I feel like I'm working on being even I'm really not and there's a lot of exercises where I'll look at myself in the mirror now and I'll realize how uneven I am and that feels completely normal to me so it's a bit of a messed up thing for me anyways after my five set of 10 deadlifts I ended up just doing at the heavier weight uh, three reps of pausing deadlifts so I would pause just off the ground and then pause up my knees and then all the way up and then go back down and do that three times so that was just another little strengthening thing for me it was just get back into getting used to doing deadlifts because I haven't done them in a while and I wasn't doing them very much before I got hurt so this was definitely interesting for me it's it's hard for me to do deadlifts a bit because my shoulder your shoulder is forward and that's where I'm in a very like weak position so I really have to make sure that I'm really really set back so yeah I was just practicing with some of those as well so now getting into the workout, this was a really leg intense workout. If you guys want a hard leg workout, you should try this. So what I ended up doing, I wore my vest. I don't always wear my vest. I wear it like every second day or something like that. It just depends. I know in the last video I was wearing my vest, but I'm wearing my vest today. It just happened to fall on the same day. So my workout was 10 rounds. It was 10 pistols, 10 alternating pistols, 20 double unders, and in between each round you had to run 200 meters. It was really nice outside, so I wanted to run, and oh my god, my legs were dying. It was really hard. Pistols are really hard with the weighted vests. I definitely struggle with those. They are not clean reps at all. I was really, really struggling with them. I like really had a hard time but the double unders went pretty good the running went pretty good I was pretty tired I have to say it took me a long time to do this workout it was pretty hard for me to do this workout but I did enjoy it nonetheless
And then at the end of the workout, I decided to step in on the class because I wasn't doing the class before. And the coach was like, hey, want to do Bring Sally Up? So I was like, okay. So I did Bring Sally Up by doing squats. Worst idea ever. My legs were just shaking so bad. And if you guys know the song, obviously I'm not going to play it now because I'm going to get copyrighted. If you know the song, at some points so you got to hold that squat. And it is so hard. My legs were just shaking so, so bad. So I ended up doing that at the end as like a little kind of burner, kind of fun workout. Okay, so we are back from the gym. I am dying. My legs are literally dead. I I, I'm I'm in pain like really bad pain. It was a rough one on my legs. That's for sure I doubt I will be walking tomorrow if I'm walking tomorrow That's that's gonna be pretty good progress because right now I feel like I can't walk We went for a bit of a walk to try and like loosen my legs to get some like movement in my legs because I find when I do a heavy leg day I like to just walk after to just kind of get them stretched out and not so tight and tense but yeah, I gotta show you guys my stomach because with the weighted vest, there was like it was like rubbing because I was wearing like a cropped tank top, so it's like really red right now. But you guys can't really see actually. It's like washed out, but I'm like all red and you know, it's like rug burn here, I guess you can say, and there too a little bit. Like I have like a bit of like burn from the vest, so got that right now. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling it right now. I'm really tired. But we're gonna make supper soon. We're gonna have some tofu for supper. You know, regular stuff that we do. We're gonna make some tofu scramble and all that jazz. So let's make it. Alright, supper is served. We got our tofu scramble with some vegan bacon, some peppers, and some kale in it. And then I put on some salt, some garlic powder, and also some everything but the bagel seasoning. Everything but the bagel seasoning. And then David and I, we couldn't decide what we wanted. So we took half a bagel each and then half of an English muffin each. And on the English muffin, I just put some butter. And on here, we put the... David just put it away. The Kite Hill cream cheese, the everything cream cheese, we just picked some up. So yeah, I got mine here. David, here's yours. Ooh, thank you. So I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It really, really does help the channel. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. You guys know where it is. And yeah, don't forget to be unstoppable. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down Go inside like winter leaves that slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting round, baby, drinking